breathing in golden light above our crown chakras, through our third eye, throat, heart, sacral root, out, centering and anchoring into the center of Gaia. It's wrapping around the center of Gaia. And then we'll breathe in a green energy from Gaia all the way through our chakras, creating our pillar of light, leaving our crown chakra, beaming up, beaming up. And um, we'll call on the archangels. We'll call on Father, Mother, God, the ascended masters, all in the heaven realm. This, we're only calling in the beings of the heaven realm with the intention to assist humanity, this collective, and everybody on here for everybody to be able to send and um and and then we'll bring these energies through the entire galaxy every timeline send it through the infinity portal of all multiple parallel realities and uh we'll break any and doing this will break any technology that the archons have in place to stop uh global mass ascension and um and we'll be tuned into it so there is if, if anybody wants to call in anybody right now, we'll, we'll call them in. Uh, I'll call in uh, my my OMEs. I'll also call in the Andromeda system because I always like these, these sorts of ones. Uh, and also Merlin and uh, Raphael will be there. And uh, yeah, my OMEs. Uh, that's all I need to call. And my dragon. Yeah, we'll call in the dragon. Collective. If you don't have a dragon, one will be provided for you. Rainbow dragons are today's choice. Rainbow dragons are coming in. I'll call in Mike, Archangel Michael, and my galactic guide, United Nine. My dragon armies with me, or oh, us, I should say. Anybody else want to call anyone in? I call in my B team of elementals and dragons and phoenixes. <laughs> and fairies. Okay, so we're going to place some protections around us right now. A lot of beings don't want this to happen. I'm feeling that there there may be some awareness for some reason somehow so we're going to place uh golden bubble shields over everybody if you don't know how to make shields we're just going to throw them out we're going to layer it with 12 dimensional source light language and codes for protection and if anything comes across us in astral travel and it hits our energy shield it will beam off source light and and push them right into source completely protected she to two yasakata. Activate. And we will. Many watching. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, so we're taking a back door to the central sun. We're going to go through our hearts. And we want us to go within. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we'll place our hand over our heart. Place our hand over our heart. Breathe deeply golden source energy around our heart. Expanding our hearts, connecting our hearts together, connecting our hearts with all these higher vibrational guides. Expanding this heart energy, creating heart energy all around us right now. Breathing in golden light through our heart and expanding it, going deeper. Okay, so we're being guided to go to the collective at, through our heart energy. They're gonna guide us. <clears throat> so we're just gonna go ahead and hop on our dragons within our heart energy, with the inside of our heart that is the portal to the universe. And Arlen is guiding us to the collective. So you see, sense, or feel this beautiful um, white light source energy, this collective energy. It's um, 
It's basically float, floating energy of the collective consciousness. It is pure light because everybody is pure light at a collective level. Okay. There's drones, there's drones. <clears throat> what are these drones? Artificial intelligence, they're trying to control. Okay, how do we get rid of these things? Let's heal the collective. It's being, they're being chained. Okay. Why, why, don't, you, why don't you sort, sort them out with frequency? Okay. Let's send some frequencies of love all through the around the collective right now. And with intention, we'll rain down the crystalline rays. guide points here so we're just going to go ahead and create some guide points of energy it's going to be where I like, will oh, probably because we're going to come back here so it's going to be like a good tether that is going to guide us right back you got to come back okay now we're going to um, we're going to look up and you're going to see a big bright sun off in the distance and we're just going to start flying towards that so we're going to go up we're going to fly through going up to this light just keep flying through it going up and I'm just gonna open up a white light diamond light portal and as we go through it we're gonna fly through this time warp space uh, at light speeds going up further faster and up and as we're going up we're raising our frequency we're going up and this portal is taking us to the central Sun of creation you know, flying through so Yeshua is here Yeshua is guiding us he's waiting for us okay going faster going faster flying through this portal and out onto the other side of this portal to this golden light this golden light dimension there's sun rays still ahead follow the sun rays it's the central sun rays keep going through the golden dimension going to the sun rays right now as we're going through we're going to connect our third eyes with the central sun so we can get through into the sun into the sun portal here Again, it's golden. It's a golden. It's golden inside of here. Okay. All right. So, asking for a guide to assist here now that we're in the central sun. Connect our hearts to the central sun's heart. Is that right? The divine heart of the source within the central sun. This is the galactic Ra. sun. The galactic Ra sun. Okay. This is the galactic sun. Okay. Activating galactic sun within everybody right now. Connection, galactic sun connection. Okay, so now we're going to go inside the source energy in the central sun. This pure, pure rainbow white light and just go into it. Now we're going to call on Christ consciousness light to embody us. Fill us all up right now. And we're going to merge with the galactic sun. So we're going to become the sun, the galactic core. And then we're going to shoot this golden light out as the galactic sun. All out of our energy right now to the stars. Be merging with the stars, the planets. Sending this energy out to all. And at the same time, breaking any technologies that are out here to disrupt the ascension of humanity. These frequencies of love. And then we're going to go send this to the solar sun it's golden light and then we're going to follow this light we're still going to be merged with the galactic sun but we're going to follow it into the solar sun and connect this with our third eyes to the solar sun going to the solar sun now that we're in here we're going to connect with the source in here 
call on more Christ consciousness light merge with the solar sun. Uh, so the light's coming from the galactic sun into the solar sun. And now we're merged with the solar sun. We're gonna send this golden light out through all around the earth and inside of the earth. This golden light stream coming inside of the earth. Now we're gonna follow the stream of golden light and we're gonna go into the heart of Gaia. And we're gonna follow it and it's gonna lead us into where the Lumerians are really, and it's gonna lead us into this blue crystal energy. It is a consciousness like the sun, but for inner earth. And we're gonna merge with that. And while we're here, we're gonna bring keys and codes of ascension to humanity. We're gonna call it in from the inner earth. We're going to, with intention, connect with all the inner earth realities all of the inner worlds that need these codes while well, we're in this blue energy and this golden light energy now we're going to we're going to connect with the um, outer earth grids the outer galactic grids on the other side of these grids and we're going to merge with the outside of the galactic grids so that we're in the heaven realm I know it's like a golden city. You'll see the golden city. You'll see Father God, Sophia, the angels, the golden angels are all here in the city. And they're gonna ask for guidance. How do we bring in these rays of ascension to all while we're here? Connect to the hearts of all here. Okay, universal heart all hearts connecting to this universal heart of time creation light is within the heart they're saying oh, really okay calling on heaven rays from the universal heart to expand within our hearts to expand within our energy fields connecting to the sun of the heaven realm so we may travel and connect this energy to the, okay, so we're gonna go into the sun in the heaven realm, the golden sun, the golden sun, going through it, uh, source of all creation of Omega, of Omega. Oof. Bring it in, in the golden light from this high, high source level within our energy fields. Oof. Okay, this is gonna be really high energy for a lot of people. Merging with the sun of the heaven realm, Connecting our hearts with the universal heart of all creation. Breathing, calling in all heavenly rays, all heavenly rays for ascension, golden rays, all rays. Connecting this to the galactic sun. Now we're gonna go down, follow these rays to the galactic sun, expanding it into the universe, opening up infinity portal, sending these rays to the infinity portal, all the keys and the codes for all to send, all timelines, all realities, breaking all arcane technologies, all technology stopping the ascension for all. Sending it through grid systems. Earth going into Earth's core. Sending it through all the grids. Please keep some codes and heavenly rays. And connecting this heart energy, connecting this co creation, ascension energy to the consciousness of the collective. Sending it now over all. intentions we are going to ask the collective consciousness to accept this energy to assist all of humanity ascend connect our hearts to their hearts break all spells break all mind control into the collective consciousness heart deeply bringing in these codes from inner earth from the universal heart from the galactic heart from the galactic sun from all the source levels
parallel universes and all realities all timelines all will receive these codes these energies of ascension breaking the controls from the archons taking back the sovereignty the collective consciousness in all timelines taking back the sovereignty the planet in all timelines concentrate on the rebirth see the collective rebirthing this light within their heart within their hearts see their hearts activated Wow, a big disbursement of density just released. Clearing, 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 bring down source light, pull in all this density, please pull it all in. Golden rays, ascension codes coming down on them now. Do not accept controls, do not accept being controlled. Releasing the collective. From the ties of Earth, calling in Anubis, calling in Anubis to recognize this. Recognize this release. Recognize this was their choice, their choice to be released, their choice to start their ascension, their choice to activate this inner light. Recognize. They are released onto their path of ascension. Okay, good. There'll be no more controls. Okay, great. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, so we're just gonna go with intention to the higher consciousness, the higher self level of all. Going up. Connecting our hearts at the higher self heart collective and sending down all rainbows rainbow bridges from higher selves to all the collective everybody getting a rainbow bridge and a connection to higher self now Nine billion rainbow bridges being made, sending them down. What else do we have to do? Okay, now we're going to go from this level and create rainbow bridges for the collective to origins uh, source. Okay, so. Or what? Okay, so they're inside the solar sun portal. There's a there's a source, origins. I'm just gonna connect with that and create rainbow bridges for everybody to source. Calling on the star consciousness to send all the origins and activate all the DNA of the collective at this level. Go bridges. Alright, what else do I need to do anything? Okay, so I'm just told to come back 
up to the angelic kingdom. I think if you're all good. Uh, but we're going to do it yeah, like the heavy kingdom. Then. So we're going to go ahead and with intention merge with the outer galactic grids, the outer grids of this reality, merging on the outer side and coming into the heaven realm. And you'll see, like, they look like Titan gods, like a lot of them. Um, ascended Masters, they're bigger, and they are clapping. So this was very successful. Um, I'm just going to ask for guidance. There's a holy temple. There's a holy temple here. We're going to go into this temple. This temple of one. And we're going to go into its golden light temple temple of one and we're going to go into the temple of one okay so inside of this temple of one is the records of, of, of everybody uh, all your source all your power just call on it everybody has a book everybody has an energetic book with all the codes it's coming into your hands now grab it with your mind's eye, download all the content and pull all the energy in this book through your chakras, through your energetic bodies, activating you deeper. It is a gift. It is a gift. It's a gift of knowledge, a gift of expansion. Just give everybody a minute to take these codes in and absorb all this energy. Now say a prayer what? to commemorate this day. All are sovereign and free. They are released. All are fair and not judged. They are heard. All are led in the light of Christ consciousness and salvation. They are guided. Now all will be free. In the light of all it is in this love it connects our hearts. sets freedom's deliverance. It's being activated in the collective. And we seal it with intention. Sending our heart energy out. <laughs> here and concentrating on this energy and this tremendous tremendous heart expansion at the collective level within ourselves and the universal heart merged with all of the suns and the systems and the planets this light at the inner core of earth and sending it all through there we're just going to concentrate on any technologies whether they're quantum computers or whether they're energy black magic or whatever it is of any of the controlling forces that are trying to stop all to ascend and we're going to break it right now with intention we're going to send it up and destroy it all see it explode golden light calling in the archangels and the angelic kingdom to gather all this density to gather all this magic that is non-serving collect and replace it with new systems new grid systems new new love and light that cannot be manipulated it is controlled 
at the Heaven Realm level only. Interesting. Yeah, this is different. All right, so Standing Master Yeshua was just saying that we have all healed so many, and to look at within our own hearts and notice how much they have healed as well from this, what we just did. I was going to tune into my heart energy if you want to tune into your heart energy. And just noticing it is bigger it's like a heart expansion I think we just all got a heart expansion isn't that interesting and we're going to grow into a deeper love with all things it's a consciousness expansion This is a mission complete here. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna just gonna do is we're just gonna, with intention, merge back into ourselves, like bring our consciousness back, because this was a journey within the heart, the safest place. That, that's why we're so protected. And this, we were able to cause this change within our hearts, and we're calling our energies back into consciousness, and then we'll just disconnect our. Um, merging with the suns and the galactic sun and the grids and our earth and we're just going to bring that all back into our heart bring it back into ourselves bringing back all the knowledge we got from the temple of one our ancient knowledge powers our activations and we're going to integrate that over the next number of days bringing back this energy When you're ready, you can wiggle your fingers and your toes. And it's just going to bring down golden light energy over everybody, starting from your head, going down this entire, entire, your entire houses as well. If there's any foreign density or anything, or even like um, things that aren't supposed to be there, it's going to be pushed into Gaia for transmutation, going over your head, your neck, your arms, your entire house, sending it down your leg it's like over your legs and your feet and sending everything into Gaia get transmuted and then we're just going to set up pillars of light on all four corners of everybody's houses and property lines going from source down to the center of Gaia pillars of white light with blue energy protections on all sides and ceiling setting up an energy center of protection <sighs> at a collective level. Oh, this is going to piss some people off. Some people are going to be starving tonight and tell you that, but they're all out of vampires. Okay. All right. Well, that's the sovereignty. Ah, amazing. So when you're ready to open your eyes and come back into awareness. In the middle. D David, the drones look something like the Matrix, you know, the little things outside the ships. That's all I could see. <laughs> yeah. Initially they're like scorpions and I think, no, they're like, I've seen them on the Matrix. The other thing, which I didn't want to disturb you with because I don't know what it is, is the sun got a muzzle on it, like a mask. It did yesterday, yeah. Yeah, I, like I, I think it's a damper. Now, I don't know if it's damping the frequency coming through it or it's damping the temperature. So I didn't really want to remove it. <laughs> yeah. Right. If it, we'll think about that later. Like, they, they actually blocked the sun portal yesterday. We had to open it back up there. They were trying to really 
mess with some stuff up. But I created a grid just below there so they can't do that. Like it was it's basically like a force field, but th that muscle, muzzle part might still be on there. I, 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 I was thinking of destroying it, but then we might overeat. The, uh, it might be a temperature damper that we've done century, uh, thousands of years ago. Or yeah. it, could, it could be a frequency. I think it's a frequency damp, damper, but I, I've got to check it. Uh, yeah. I, I, I didn't want to remove it until <laughs> I knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, good discernment for sure. Then when you didn't want me to do this little um, exercise, because my fire alarm in my kitchen has been going off the whole time, it's like saying, don't do it. And I'm like, no, what are you on about? And then I felt somebody on my left side here. I was like, go away. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, that's that about? Uh, yeah, yeah it's, um, intense, right? It, it was their very first thing I got, is that somehow they're, that, that these beans these archons were aware of this I'm not sure how but um, and that's why they like go through your heart portal and they can't touch you so at one point I could see a, a being or something all in black with just their eyes all black that's like was that? I told it to go when you did that incendiary thing then it went I call them the smoke creatures. I'm not sure what they are. Is that are, what it is? I can I, see them. I've, like, I've seen them just like smoke, but with two eyes. Yeah, yeah, but it was black. It. But it was like just in my vision. I was like, thanks very much. Bye. Good work, though. Really good work. That was awesome, guys. Congratulations. So we're going to feel that for the next two days, huh? Yeah, that, that, um, that temple of one. So yeah, whenever you guys want to, if you want to go there, all you got to do is like, um, you don't have to go through the whole gauntlet of exercises. We, you can just, it's easy to do it by um, just going into Gaia, actually. Just going straight into Gaia, at the center of Gaia, and um, connecting your heart with Gaia, and then merging with the outer grids. And then you got this whole house, this is whole heaven realm. I haven't even explored it yet. This, this, this temple was actually the first time I've been even in this temple. So there's lots to explore there. Um, definitely gonna, going to go back there. But yeah, they, they look a lot bigger there. Hey, Phil, like the, yeah. the beam, like the, all the angels, all the ascended mount, everybody's huge in that realm. Yeah, definitely. You know, my screen nearly went off there. Something went wrong with my computer. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. There's some interference. Like, I'm aware that, that they're around us at the minute, trying to. So went to, Yeah, after I went to the temple, that's when I saw them, the muzzle around the earth, uh, around the sun. Oh, neat. So it's after I saw it. Yeah. And it's. Hmm? Hmm. Hey, Shane. 